Waska Sioux is a special place for me. I have to say it's really captured part of my soul. It's a destination I have for painting for many reasons. Uh, the broad expanse of the lake is really almost like a liquid prairie. There's usually a wind and a lot of movement in the water and uh, that broad expanse of the lake is so beautiful because it's surrounded by this mysterious natural forest. You can look at Waska Sioux as a whole subject or you can focus in on one area and look at something more intimate and up front. When I'm painting and I'm putting on the paint, I like to think of it almost as a textile, it's interwoven little bits of color. One thing I, I like about Waska Sioux too is the multitude of colors that you find in the sky, in the forest, and in the, the water. And I do try to show the complexity of color in nature. I like uh, the power of nature. I like the wilderness. And in my paintings, I quite often leave out the presence of humans or urban sprawl. I'll leave out a fence. When I'm painting the prairies, it's obviously cultivated land. And so, I do have that part of my art practice too. When people come to look at my work, I like them to be surprised about what they see and, and for them to not necessarily be able to walk in and, and have seen that painting five times before but in different colors. I like each painting I do to, to be unique. And that's interesting for me too. I always look for new subject matter.